Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. This is the Communist Mole. We are, of course, playing as Paraguay. Now, something that we should probably note is that our paratroopers are coming along quite nicely indeed. Uh, we're going to try and make four of them. I don't know if that's going to be possible in the slightest, but hey-ho. Uh, we need a whole bunch more equipment before we can actually uh, be happy about our situation. So we've got to bear that in mind. We're also undergoing uh, secret weapons, apparently. Rushing for nuclear tech, because that's just something that we can do. I suppose uh, we are also we're also 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 researching synthetic oil experiments which means that we're actually gonna be able to start producing our own oil which doesn't seem like a major deal but it totally will be when we manage to get transport planes which we should be able to paratroop troops into Uruguay and uh, and capture Uruguay via the air that's the plan anyway because we are still technically at war with them so that's something to bear in mind I look forward to trying it out Missing equipment production? Yeah, we're missing that fighter. Now, that's that's annoying. We don't have the resources, though. We don't have anywhere near the resources for that. Um, yeah, I'm not super, 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 super concerned about our current tech. It's just, it's just something, I guess. Uh, there is another election December... December 1939. Alright, I mean, we can probably deal with that. It's, it's no biggie. Whoops. 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 Uh, what is this? All infantry organization. Cool, I guess. Alternatively, is there any other things that we really care about here? Support battalion? Mm, not really. Great war tank. Lots of, lots of tanks that I really don't care about. And can't really do anything about. It. Honestly, I think that the doctrine is absolutely the way forward for us. I really do. Like I, you know, I really have relied on that a lot. Poland refuses. Oh, oh my goodness! All right, let's go have a look and see what the heck is going on in Europe. Uh, Zog, Albanian government. Okay, well that's interesting. I've not seen that before. Uh, but Albania has now been absorbed into Italy. Very, very cool indeed. Well, not cool for Albania, but cool in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Poland refuses German ultimatum. This is a grave situation. Indeed it is. Um, is Poland actually allied with anybody? Um, no, so the UK doesn't actually... Hasn't actually protected Poland. Secret weapons, that's cool. Let's see what we can get now. An extra research slot? I think that would actually be really, really good for us. I'm going to take an extra research slot. Sign me up. Sign me up. Uh, I'm expecting Poland to get cream crackered. I mean, there is entirely a chance that, uh, that Poland manages to survive, but I'm really just not convinced. All right, how are we doing? Can we join your faction yet? Well, maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day, Soviet Union. The motherland. We will eventually become the same faction as you. Uh, okay, wow. Japan has completely destroyed... China. Wow. 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 Okay, that's, uh, I want to say unexpected, but it's not entirely unexpected in fairness. It's just, well, I just, I didn't really expect it. I don't like how many troops there are over here, but hey-ho, how, how far are we along this timeline of this coup? We're, we're kind of far, and we're also making real progress now. Fall of Warsaw. Gosh darn, that was quick. That was quick. Jeez Louise. Okay. That was, that was very quick. Very, very quick. German, German Reich is just absolutely stomping all over Poland right now. <sighs> well, that's, it's going to be a little bit interesting. But hey-ho. Alright, come on, come on Paraguay, we can do it. We can be the best in the world. For sure we can. Easy peasy. Poland has capitulated. Uncertain times. Honestly, wow, 33,000 equipment. What I would do for 33,000 equipment. What was I going to say? I was going to say, yes, um, in terms of infantry equipment, we're actually doing really, really well. Like, making 24 a day is 
kind of impressive given the amount of resources that we actually have, i.e. not very many, uh, which is which is really nice. I'm, I'm really happy with the amount of uh, equipment that we're making. And honestly, I think that it's absolutely fine to just continue only making inventory equipment right now. We are going to have to start up transport plane production very, very soon indeed. Uh, but we currently don't have any aluminium for use and we don't have oil or rubber. But we will be able to get those uh, as soon as we as soon as as soon as we manage to finish this synthetic uh, oil research thing, which you know will give us the ability to build synthetic oil. But you know, hey ho, it's gonna be fun. Um, extra research slot, lovely, lovely, lovely. What do we want to research with this? Uh, probably an industry improvement actually, or the nuclear stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, reinforcement rate, that would be kind of nice. I would like that. Yes, but also research time. Hmm, I'm going to take research time. Research time is always a good thing to just bank on. Um, what do we need? Technology sharing. What does this do? Gain one research slot. That's pretty big, actually. Extra research slot, too. More than 50 factions. Hmm, that's... It's going to take a while. Um, what do we want? I don't know. I don't really know what we want. Aviation focus. It's, well, we're certainly not going to go down the naval effort route, right? Because we literally can't. So there you go. Uh, close air support, rocket effort. I guess we'll go for the nuclear effort. There's no point. We're almost completely out of national focuses, which is kind of crazy. Which is kind of crazy already. Also, time seems to be absolutely flying past. I have no idea why it's flying past, but, uh, you know, you stick it into five times and it'll do that. Oh, our first regiment of paratroopers. How crazy is that? That is awesome. Um, speaking of awesomeness, civilian factories were maxed out of. Uh, can't build synthetic oil yet. Can't build any rocket sites yet. Land forts, I guess, we can probably build, or perhaps infrastructure. Yeah, let's, you know, we might as well build up the infrastructure. Might as well. I'm sure it'll be, uh, sure it'll be finished quite soon. Looking forward to it, that's for sure. Uh, one paratrooper finished, as I was going to say, and the others are being worked on. We've got loads of equipment. We've managed to fulfill the coup. Everybody is being upgraded. And we should have more than enough. Yeah, wow, holy cow. We're completely fine for inventory equipment. This is this is a really, really, really good. Uh, something else that we need to bear in mind that I didn't really touch on. When I said I needed to do some, uh, some industry research, we probably need to increase our uh, factory output max factories in a state plus 20%. I think we probably want to do that. Or maybe... Hmm... Factory output plus ten percent. I think we want to go for concentrated industry. Yeah, I think that's what we probably want to do. We'll do that as soon as co computing machine is finished, uh, and that should allow us to get uh, a little bit more, a little bit more bang for our buck, so to speak, for our very, very limited resources. It's certainly. Um, oh, the Soviet Union has declared war on Turkey. Now, can we ally with the Soviet Union? No, not yet. Not quite yet. Uh, it's certainly really changed my perspective of the game because we have to play with such limited resources. I mean, you know, trading one factory away for all of the steel that we're getting, that was, that's, you know, that's a pretty major investment um, to the United States. That's, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty major investment indeed. Okay, so this is going to be finished in April. That's fine. It's going to take a wee while. Yeah, it's, uh, it's no biggie. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Italy joined the Axis. Nuclear effort done. The German Reich declared war on the Soviet Union. Okay, what the heck is happening here? Can I not join the faction yet? If we weren't at war, then I'd manage to join your faction. Not like it particularly matters, considering you are, you know, losing or whatever, but... Yeah, whatever. Um... Doctrine effort. Yeah, I really I really hope that the Soviet Union wins. I hope that goes without saying, right? Who is the Soviet Union allied with? Mongolia? Okay. <laughs> Pretty much nobody. Because China got absolutely destroyed. I really hope that the Axe the Axis, you know, don't get too powerful. I mean, you know, I am 
I'm, you know, I'm communist, but I'm not, not fascist. I don't want the fascists to win. That's just, that's just plain and simple, not what I'm interested in. Okay. 23% democratic. That's, that's quite something. Lots of communist presence in there. Not much communist presence in there. We kind of stopped, stopped bothering. Okay, so how is the democratic coup going? I'm honestly really, really, really hopeful that this is going to work. I really think that this uh, that this democratic coup is going to cause a little bit of an uproar, quite frankly. I really do. I'm very hopeful. Okay, next piece of uh, big research that's going to be completed is the computing machine. Then we're, of course, going to get those uh, good old industri industry improvements, concentrated industry, uh, which should really give us uh, a little bit more... A little bit more bang for our buck, as I say, for uh, for all of the factories. Boom, 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 boom. Go over here, get the concentrated industry. Yeah, let's do it. Whatever. Uh, minus 13% research time. Pretty, pretty handsome uh, deduction there. Pretty nice. Four paratroopers set up. That is pretty darn good. Um, our manpower is horrifically low. And it's not going to improve anytime soon, quite frankly. But uh, paratroopers really are the uh, the only only resource that we can really use right now, or that we can really, or the or the only uh, type of inventory that we can really produce. Um, so we've we filled out our demand for inventory equipment. That's grand. Is it worth? Is it worth just like building a transport plane and trying to get all of the resources from elsewhere? Yeah, okay, so... Maybe... Okay, wow, in 8.5 years. Japan declared war on the Soviet Union. Japan joined the Axis. Japan army embraces... Oh, I don't, I don't know how to say that. I don't even pretend to say that. I don't even want to... I don't even want to pretend. All right, that's good. Yeah, we need to we need to get these resources. Perhaps we can, perhaps we can like micromanage this a little bit. So set that to zero, and then get ourselves the aluminium that we need. Get it from the United States, I guess. Oops. Uh, get the rubber as well. Get it from the United States again, or anywhere else. Get it from Brazil. All right. Apparently we can't trade with these guys because they're too far away or whatever. Uh, tungsten, and we also need oil, so let's get oil from the U.S. as well. Three factories, by the way, that we are that we are trading away. Three factories that we're trading away. That's a lot of factories to be trading away, but it will allow us to make some planes. Doctrine effort, insufficient resources. Why do we, what do we need? Steel. We could trade away another one. I didn't think we needed. I didn't think we needed steel for our current list of stuff. No, we we don't really need steel. We'll just reduce that by one. And one again. Yeah, we still, we still need steel. But I don't really want to do it. I don't really want to do it. Uh, okay, this is, this is too... This is... We're not getting enough. We're not getting anywhere near enough. Holy cow, this transport plane is going to take a long time. We're going to get three and a half per year. <sighs> That's pretty... It's pretty not good. Uh, air experience... Yeah, add two airbase. I suppose that'd be kind of nice. I just want to finish up this war with Uruguay, quite frankly. That's what I'm really going for. Synthetic oil, that's really good. That's going to allow us to make some pretty uh, awesome improvements. Production efficiency cap, yeah, that would be something that I'm really interested in. Factory repair speed, not really. Resource efficiency gain, uh, kind of, I guess. Enable synthetic refinery level 2. Let's get that, let's get that set up straight away. And let's also start production on our synthetic refineries. Uh, except we can't, because we need... Con if we get concentrated industry, that gives max factories in a state plus 20%. So we're going to have to wait until we get that before moving forward with building anything else in these uh, in these states. That's no biggie. That's just that's just going to delay us a little bit. Not honestly super concerned by that. Missing equipment production fighters. Yeah. I'd love to paratroop in there, but unfortunately we just can't. Low manpower. 
Yeah. Honestly, let's um let's Hey, great. Argentine Argentina Republic. That's great. So a lot of communists now. A lot of communists. A nice little trick there that we uh that we managed to that we managed to perform. Cannot target a state if it's in civil war. Yes, clearly it is in civil war. Uh, let's stop building any more troops, quite frankly, because... Just cancel all of them. Uh, quite frankly, because we need the reinforcements. No divisions in basic training. That's fine. Honestly, that's 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 A-OK. -okay. What are we... Why do we need... I thought we were getting aluminium. We're importing eight and we're still not getting enough? Okay, that's kind of a little bit shitty, but I guess we'll have to just put up with it. I mean, there's pretty much nothing that we can do. At least when we get synthetic oil uh, set up, we'll be able to... Uh, we'll be able to at least make our very own... Our very own oil and rubber, which is going to be a huge, 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 huge step up. It's going to be really, really important, I think. Uh, meanwhile, how are things going in the rest of the world? Let's slow it down to four speed. Things start to get jittery. So the way that Paradox games work, in case you uh, you weren't aware, is that uh, speed one is a certain speed, like one hour every minute or whatever. It's not that, but, you know, down to speed one, it's like one hour every 10 seconds or whatever. Two is like two minutes every 10 seconds. Three is like, you know, three minutes or four minutes every... Uh, every second or hours you know what i'm talking about uh four and then five is just like the max speed that your computer can run so that's why it gets a little bit jittery in case you're wondering uh when we run it at max speed uh so you inventory combat width recruitable population five percent that's pretty big actually what's our current recruitable population five percent well we'll see if that changes anything i don't know if it's going to stack if it did stack then that would be amazing you are honestly still not accepting my uh, my faction. You would accept you would accept if uh, if we weren't at war, which is cool, I guess. We're not actually super unfriendly with Germany, which is kind of nice, I guess. But um, I have no desire to uh, to team up with those scumbags over there. So how are things going in Argentina? Certainly things to be go seem to be going very very well if we've got uh, a communist party that has sub such substantial popularity That is uh, Really rather nice 48% I mean, I don't expect this democratic state to last long, but it's at least a little bit of a Little bit of a cheeky maneuver. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's Create a new air wing with transport plane, which we just produced actually Remarkable. We'll put a limit of five transport planes in there, okay? So, there we go. And now, we should be able, deploying from... Where were you transferring from? Like, where the hell were you before this? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't quite understand that. But, hey-ho. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Is this democratic state actually going to be allowed to exist for real? Everything's things going in Chile? Yeah, Chile is never, ever going to work. How is this democratic state being allowed to exist? Why are you not crushing it? Why on earth are you not crushing that? I, I really don't understand. Uh, aviation effort, that's great. Still need resources. Yep, I am acutely aware of the resources that I need. Trust me, game. Trust me. Fighter focus or bomber focus? Um, <laughs> we're not going to be able to build either. Because we, we can't, because we're scrubs at the game. But also, uh, it's very difficult for us to, to do anything. Um, I want to say that maybe Fighter Focus is not the one that we want to go for. I'm going to say... I, no, I'm going to say Fighter Focus, because we uh, we went down the, the doctrine path of fighters, operational integrity. We didn't go for strategic destruction. Not like it really matters that much, but it's worth bearing in mind. Now, how is this state still existing? Either way, we're about to breach 50%. 50%. 
That is that is quite something. That is that is a lot of support actually. That's a lot of support. I mean, it's not you know it's not all the support. Uh, it could be better, but it certainly isn't bad. Not a not a bad uh, not a bad deal at all. Belgium joined the Allies. I expect Belgium to die very soon. Um, all right. What do we want? Extensive conscription, service by requirements, recruitable population, construction speed, factory output minus 10%. I really don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, if we need to, then we can totally jump up into that gear, but uh, at the moment, I'm not really that keen. Democratic reformer? No, that's not going to happen. Communist revolutionary? Mm, no, political power gain, ideological drift difference, or a drift defense. Uh, yeah, mm, kinda, maybe. Tank designer, I really don't care. Ship designer, really don't care. Don't care about any of that stuff. Artillery designer, nope, 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 nope. Don't care about any of this nonsense. Industrial research time, it's probably worth getting that, actually. Land doctrine research time, that would have been useful to pick up earlier, but I, I really don't care that much. Um... Nobody is really army experience gain. Yeah, let's get let's get you on board. I think that's a, a good idea. Um, there's a lot of people that I kind of want to pick up, but I'm not that bothered about them. If that makes sense, like it's important that we get lots of uh, lots of government advisors and whatever, so that uh, so that we can just you know squeeze every last little bit out of uh, out of the game. But unfortunately, you know, there's nothing. There's nothing that, that we can do about political capital. You know, it just takes time to, to accumulate. Uh, wow, holy cow. 50%. 50%. Popularity, 50%. As soon as this state gets wiped out, we're going to start the coup. And it should be absolutely great. Uh, we do need to modify the government. And I will modify the government. Uh, da -da -da, division attrition. Uh, armor division attack. I don't care about that. Land Doctrine cost, no. I'm going to take Industrial Research Time minus 10%. I think that's going to be pretty big for us. Uh, it should allow us to basically springboard from this concentrated industry technology into other technologies uh, similar to concentrated industry, as in concentrated industry 2 is something that we could go for. Uh, I think straight away, actually. Yeah, 154 days. That's totally acceptable. And all of this technology... Uh, we can research at a slightly faster rate, I suppose. So if we got any more room in our states, is that something that's happened? Hmm, no, we haven't. I thought that was going to give us a little bit more room. Um, how do we get more room? That's the question, though. Concealed industry. Why are you not giving me more states, then? That's the question. I should be... I should have had... Additional slots in state four. Yeah, so do we not get more from concentrate industry? I do not know. That's that's the that's a weird thing. I don't I don't quite know how the how it actually works. Hmm. That is that is kinda weird. I would love I would love, 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 love if I could, uh, you know, do something with these states a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, maybe... I don't know. Do we want to get rid of one strategic building? I don't think we do. I think we... I think we go balls to wall on this one, actually. I think we just straight up attack Uruguay. I think we're going to do that in the next episode. Like, we're just going to we're just gonna get the paratroopers and we're going to land in here. I don't know exactly what is going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been the Communist Mole. I've been Over the Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.